Happy New Year and welcome back to the wonderful world of mortgages. Well, what a start to the new year. The January sales have got off to an early start in the mortgage market, with Halifax flying out of the blocks and cutting rates dramatically on a range of products, especially where remortgages and product transfers retention rates are concerned. This has already been followed by HSBC announcing this morning that they will also be reducing their rates further. So what of these Halifax rate reductions then? Well, its interest rates on a two-year fixed deal are being cut by up to 0.83%, almost a whole point. HSBC will follow on Thursday with a two-year fixed rate for remortgages if you've got 40% or more equity in your home, falling below the 4.5% level for the first time since early June last year. Their five-year fix comes in at 3.94% below 4%. All of this is good news for both prospective buyers and existing mortgage holders and is perhaps a sign of things to come as lenders begin to battle in earnest to take market share in a mortgage market that has shrunk over the past year. With inflationary pressures abating and many economists now predicting at least two, maybe even three, Bank of England base rate cuts this year, swap rates have reduced markedly, which has allowed lenders to follow suit and reduce their offerings accordingly. Lenders will be especially keen to retain clients this year and see the remortgage market as a key battleground. First time buyers are also set to be likely beneficiaries of the new rate war, especially as fixed rates slip below that magical 4% level, with mortgage payments starting to look more affordable once more when compared to spiralling rental payments. How long this continues remains to be seen. And whilst rates could still have some way to fall and the market will be more competitive for a while yet, I do suspect the pace of reductions to slow as a market finds a new normal to stabilise at. So will rates be better in six months time? Probably. Is it worth waiting to see? It's a really tricky one. And I'd always say trying to play the market is fraught with danger. There's never a good time to buy. There's never a bad time to buy. It's all about if you find a property that you want, that suits your circumstances, that is available, that is affordable both now and in the future, then I would say go for it. And it could well be that 2024 is seen as a key year to buy as house prices have eased and mortgage rates start to ease as well. Watch this space for all future developments.